What's going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael and I'm bringing you my first ever egg lock challenge to the channel. So, as you guys can tell, I'm doing a heart gold version of egg lock. So, if you guys are excited for today's episode, please leave a like, comment down below, let me know. And we're doing a brand new series, you guys. Let's get the hype train rolling. Um man, I haven't played I have not played Oh my god, it's been almost a year. I don't need any info. This is sacred gold. This is definitely sacred gold. Hmm, interesting. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I was just reading this book here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to Sacred Gold or Storm Silver, a hack with an expansion of features. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know. Let me show you a native Pokemon. It's a Meryl! The Johto and Kanto regions were known for having only a fraction of the Pokemon within its borders, but large scale migration has brought a great variety, variety <laughs> to the region's fauna. There are new challenges waiting. That was a really strong word, fauna. There are new challenges waiting you in great amount of differences in how you'll raise your Pokemon. Cool. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? I am a man. I am a man. I am a man. And my name is Phantom. Where's that T at? There is the T. Phantom. Your name is Phantom. Phantom, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. If you want to find out some of the changes, check the documents that should have come with your game. Most, if not all, information you need should be contained in there somewhere. But play as you like, for you might enjoy playing the unknown. Alright, so I don't know all of the changes that are made in this game. Um, I've only heard a few. But yeah, so. Alright, runs fairly smooth. Cool. Ice Madre. About time you woke up. Professor Elm is waiting to see you. Here's your things. I hear Johto has changed a lot in the last few years. You should be careful, Phantom. Here, take your running shoes. Thank goodness. You'll probably want your bike and music player as well. We get them right off the bat. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. I'm sure you know how to use these. Oh, I hear Elm has a gift for you. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. It's not time. It's a Meryl. Dude, this game is so pretty. All right. Hey man. Hey man. What you, what you doing? What you what you doing? So, this is the famous Elm Pokémon Lab. What are you staring at? Oh, boy, just shoves him. Oh, okay, dog. I see you, big dog. I mean, you're gonna have some problems. Mmm, well, hi, Phantom. I've been waiting for you to arrive. I've been curious about how Pokemon feel waking, walking outside of their Pokeballs. I was hoping I could have your help with this test. All right. All right. Oh, hey, I got an email. Professor Elm. Oh, uh... Okay. Hey, listen. I know you're. I know you're a person. Oh, blah. I got all mixed up. Mister Pokemon finds all sorts of crazy stuff. He says he has something, but we're so busy. We're at our research. Can you pick it up for us? We can't take one of those Pokemon. All right. Cool. All right. That was weird. Chikorita, Totodile. We're going, my boy. Totodile. 
uh, even though this is not our starter we we're going to go with and uh, I know I haven't like it looks like a playthrough but this is totally an egg lock we're just trying to get through this this stuff I want to get to the lab so I can I'm gonna nickname him just because I nickname every totodile gator there we go there we go all right how do you like walking with your Pokemon it's not bad is it you can take it all the way to mr. Pokemon's house if your Pokemon gets hurt you should heal it with this machine cool all right we go on a cherry grove we got you man all right what do you want oh phantom I I want to give you these to help you with your task you know what I dig it bro I dig it yeah I can dig it and look there's the Meryl phantom you got yourself a Pokemon I gotta say it's really cute when you walk with it it'll become more friendly you should turn around and talk to some talk okay yeah I'll talk to it you show your mom I, I don't all right I gotta go talk to my mom I guess gotta go talk to my mom about me owning a Pokemon don't worry mom oh phantom that's a cute Pokemon you have professor Elm must have given it to you oh professor Elm has a task for you you say what kind of task I see that sounds a little difficult but when someone makes that kind of a request of you it must be important oh that's right I completely forgot your pokey here came back from the repair shop here you go that's what's up that's what's up the pokey here pokey gear as it's often called is what every trainer should have guess what you can use the pokey here to make a phone call too do you remember how I sure do mom just power on the pokey here and touch the telephone button you're that's fan I love you so much yep all right let's get the game rolling all right professor elm says wait one second okay so big dog i almost completely forgot about this here i'll give you my number we're, we're gonna need that man we're definitely gonna need that because I'm gonna call you all the time um, Monday through Friday okay the lock hasn't started yet so the lock doesn't start till we get pokeballs so lock does not start till we get pokeballs it's a hoot hoot now we're just gonna just gonna get away as fast as we can It's a Rattata. Come on. There we go. There we go. And up and left and uh, it's this way, right? Uh, yes. I don't think I can get that yet. Okay. Cool. All right, granddad. You're a rookie trainer, right? All right. This is this is great. Oh, please let me show you around. Come on, I need. I want to get to the to the spot where we start talking about the cool stuff. That's what I want to do. Let's get to the let's get to the the spot where we start talking about how our game's gonna go. I ain't trying to waste my viewers is time with this stuff oh my goodness that's great oh I got the old rod for doing all that that's what's up all right all right cool I, re I regret talking all that junk I really do now all right I think we have to go to mr. Pokemon if it lets me buy Pokeballs right now, okay, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, so I guess I have to do that whole process. 
of trying to go with the Pokeballs. So we're just gonna... Goodness. <laughs> I made it. I forgot to tell you about one thing. Token for me. Take it. Oh, cool. Got the map card. Awesome. Thank you. You're a great friend. I appreciate you. You're, you're great. I, yeah, thank you. Thank you for the, the good luck on the journey. Yep. Yep. What is with all? Okay. I got a potion. Pills and potions. That's not Mr. Pokemon's house. Hey, kiddo. How in the world can you be so oblivious to the uh, my eye-catching house? Hold it right there. What? When you follow that path up north, you will see Mr. Pokemon's house. But before you go, let me finish that. What I have to say. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees too. Apricorns are really something you can make Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be because I have something for you. Okay. I, I appreciate you, big dog. You are right. I will get on that next time. I found an antidote. I need those. I'm going to need those for any... Any expiring young Pokemon trainer is going to need antidotes. We are. It's a. Did you guys know that Spinarak's original sprite was like purple? What do you guys think about that? Because I think that's pretty pretty cool. And it was drawn by a child at like an event. I want to say. Come on. There's another Hootoot. I don't want any part of these battles, man. I don't want no beef with nobody. Is that Cynthia? Oh, it's a pink apricorn. Yeah. That's what I really wanted. I don't care about Cynthia. Alright. Oh, hello. Mr. Pokemon said he was expecting a young trainer to arrive. Is your name Phantom by any chance? I see. I guess you are the trainer Mr. Pokemon was expecting. My name is Cynthia. I am a Pokemon trainer who hails from Sinnoh. Tell me, Phantom, have you heard a story that tells the tale of the legendary trainer? You haven't? I'll briefly explain. This story tells a tale of how a trainer travels the lands of Johto and Kanto, catching all the Pokemon known to mankind. He captures the most basic of Pokemon and even the most mythical of Pokemon, too eventually come face to face with the one who the Pokemon call God. The archaeology in the Johto region appears to back the existence of this story. It's interesting too. Be sure. Thank you for listening to me, Phantom. You know you remind me of a trainer I knew from Sinnoh. You may not know it, but I think you are capable of great things. In fact, I'd like to help you reach your maximum potential. Here, let me give you a small gift. Okay. The numerous possibilities of evolution, evolution for Eevee makes it very interesting, Phantom. I wonder what you'll decide to evolve Eevee into. Perhaps you'll cross paths again. But until then, farewell. The dialogue doesn't quite roll off the tongue. It's very sophisticated. You must be Phantom. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Yeah, what you, what you gotta give me, dog? This is what I want Elm to examine. Cool. You got it. A friend of mine from Aruka gave it to me. I bet you can't find out what kind of... Yeah, you, you tell Elm that I was trying to get a, a talking to him. I'm, uh, I'm gonna need some uh, information. Uh, yeah, you, you should return. Appreciate you, big dog. Appreciate And with that, I'm Professor Rogue, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Phantom. 
I was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Hmm, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You would treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've caught or seen. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. That's what's up, big dog. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to the Golden Rod for my usual radio show. Phantom, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. But don't get Mr. Pokemon's number. And now like, oh, yep, yep, Totodile, how are you? Cool. Somebody call 911? Uh, hello, Phantom. It's a disaster. Uh, it's just terrible. What should I do? Oh, no, please come back here. Don't worry, dog. What the heck? What's going on? Don't worry, dog. I'm on my way. Pidgeot. Shiny Hoo. That's what I really want to see. This is turning into an episode. Alright. I'm hitting the, the, the fast forward here. I gotta hurry up. Mom needs our help. Okay. Okay. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that... Okay. I see what you say, big dog. I see what, I see what it is, big dog. Malaria. Larry again. I'm dropping that defense. That's fine, girl. Eat this tackle. You're fast. That's all right. I got, I got, I got a potion. Oh, and I got an Eevee. I got two Pokemon. Why was Eevee's HP so low? There we go. Eat it up. Hmm. You're doing okay for someone weak. Why is Chikorita so fast? Ooh! It's a crit! And it's dead. There we go. There we go. Gator grew to level six. Ooh, learned water gun. But uh, we're not keeping you, Gator. Cool. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. All right. Give it back. That's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. No. Oh no, you saw my name. For someone who, like, boasted, like, I'm gonna be a god, the best trainer that ever lived kind of guy, you seemed very nervous that I knew your name. Is it because your name is Lil Giovanni? Lil Giovanni? Is that why? Is that why? Oh, Poochina. Bro. That would honestly be a, such a cool mod. Alright. Made it back. Okay. Who are you? Are you investigating the case? Some missing Pokemon here? Rule number one. Whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my. You must be the one who did it. <laughs> it's definitely me, man. Hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. 
I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. Yeah, I seen him too, man. What? You battered a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? You dang right I got his name. His name was... Mobus's name. Name him. Name him after my boy PC Bloodmaster. I see. So PC was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is so to research for the red-haired individual. All right. All right. Laura Phantom. Glad you understand your incident. Yeah. See you later. All right. Cool. Yep. Let's get let's get through this elm. Got gave it over. Yep. What? Nice. Yep, I got a Pokedex. We're good, man. Me and you are good. You I I got a Pokedex. I'm gonna go take on some gyms. Yep, you right. You you right. Yep. Cool. Cool. Gotta go talk to our mother. Tell her I said bye bye. So you're leaving on a venture, okay? You know what? This, this, this right here is such a good idea because she can get you a focus sashes. Focus sashes. She give you such good items. It's stupid. All right. So she's gonna take some of my prize money. There you are. Phantom, you can catch wild Pokemon. Alright. Show me how to catch Pokemon. I've only done it for ever. What are you guys doing? Just like that. There we go. Yep. Alright. I got Pokeballs, so I can catch Pokemon, but I'm not going to catch Pokemon until we get our eggs. We're not going to catch Pokemon until we get our eggs. So, yeah. There we go. Oh. This doesn't count as the encounter. Okay. There we are. Okay. Okay. Here we are. We're going to. What is the. There it is. We're going to save our game right here. So. Okay. Let me. Uh, let me take my headphones off so you guys understand. Okay. From today, which I'm uploading this on Sunday, this video will post. I will give you guys two weeks. So that is. What day is that? Let me pull out my handy dandy cell phone. Tomorrow, which is Sunday. So I'm giving you until the 1st of July. Until the 1st of July. Till the. Hmm, to the 8th of July. You guys have a week. Yeah, I'll do two weeks. I'll do two weeks. The first of you have until the first of July to the fourteenth of July to send me eggs. A link in the description to my email address will be posted so you guys can send me all your eggs. Also, a link in the description on how to make eggs will be posted as well. So send me some eggs, guys. I prefer it if everybody sent me at least two eggs a person. Because I don't feel we're going to get a whole bunch of people. If I need more eggs, I'll, I'll make another video like closer to the date to see if I can get some more scrounges up. Make sure they're legal. Um, do the best you can with that. So, yeah, let's just try to make this. Might, I might edit up our layout just a little bit because I noticed some things. But, yeah, our layout's not bad <laughs> for, for me making it by myself. But, yeah, because I'm terrible at that stuff. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to give you guys two weeks to send me eggs. So yeah, let's have a really fun time. This egg lock is going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to do it. I've been planning this since me and DJ Spinner were doing a soul link. I, I ran it by him because I didn't know how to do a soul link. 
or do another or do an egg lock um how to figure all that out so yeah this has been um a plan in the making for a while i just didn't have the time to do it so yeah here is the video for it <laughs> so all right you guys send me some eggs make sure you guys check that description make sure they're legal but yeah all right i've been the phantom michael i'm gonna get the heck out of here i'll see you guys in the next one